Okay, loves, day two of the quantum physics event. And now we're going to pretend like you are in my paid program, right? Because when you're in my paid program, you will receive audios like this from me every single day for 30 days or 60 days, depending on which uh, experiment uh, you are in, if you are in any. Um, and if you still feel like, oh my God, this is like really cool and I want to be a part of it and you're still not quite sure what to show, uh, to, what to sign up for, for it's showtime or the experiment, send me a message, right? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So what what you guys don't know is that behind the scenes i have a trello board everybody who signed up for this um three-day quantum physics e uh, event experiment actually has received the trello link not everybody has signed up for it i had over 300 signups i have about 50 something people in trello and about seven who really participate there well i gave them a bonus i gave them the bonus to actually sh uh, work with me a little bit more one-on-one -on -one because i love working with women who actually do the work right so when i give you an assignment and you do it it actually helps me to create amazing content for you right so behind the scenes i, I recorded an audio for them and i asked them to share with me what their number one goal, goal is for the upcoming 30 days. And I wanted to read up one goal out loud. I won't uh, use her name because I'm not quite sure if that's something she's comfortable with. But I loved her goal. So I want to share it with you. So she is like, oh my God. I, she said, oh, I love this. As a 3-5, I burned down my entire business last May out of the blue. LOL. What can I say? It was complete for me. So fun thing. I am a 1-3, my daughter is a 3-5, and the three, the women who are like new to human design might not know what I'm talking about, but if you have a three in your profile, you are an experimenter. You just love to try new things, and when the fun is like over, you basically start over and you start doing new things. This is amazing. It, it's like makes your life super adventurous, but sometimes it can also be very draining because you're like, oh my God, goodness. <laughs> Am I starting all over again? Yes, you are. If you have it in your profile, you know you probably, if you're an aligned profile, right? So there's a difference between being non-aligned and aligned. But when you're aligned and you follow your intuition and you follow your profile and you follow your heart, then this is part of the journey, right? You'll probably do crazy things. And this is what I love about human design. I don't teach human design, but I do take it with it in the experiment because honoring your design and understanding like, okay, I'm designed this way. There is nothing wrong with me. It helps you become more in love with yourself, which basically is a, is a shortcut to manifesting anything you desire, right? As soon as you accept yourself or who you are, you have to shortcut. And I get into that trap all the time, right? I'm like my way of doing my business is so different than, for example, um, my friend who's a 5-1 profile, right? A 5-1 profile is way more, um, it's like, I can't really explain the words, but it's like different than I how I do it as a 1-3. So a lot of the times when I compare myself to my uh, friends and like I like you have to understand, like the people I surround myself with business wise and well, business wise, there's not so such thing as business in my life. It's like all integrated. But the women I surround myself with, these are all women who make a lot of money, right? They are talking like they're making millions a year. I'm not yet at a million. So a lot of the times what happens is that I start comparing myself to them and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not where they are at. And I get insecure, right? Even though I make great numbers as well. I know there are women who are looking at my business and like, oh my God, I would die for the numbers that Sophie is is, is, is making, right? But because I like all the people I surround myself with are at those high, high numbers, it's sometimes like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? And what then tends to happen is that I start to compare myself to them while they are completely different profiles than I am. So it's so beneficial to understand more about your profile, about how well, how everything works, right? Um, and I'm like even thinking like maybe I could like, it depends on who, who, or who signs up for the experiment. Uh, 
but maybe it's something I'm going to add to the experiment as, as a bonus or something. I don't know. It just depends on who signs up and how much people already know about their profile. I have a lot of content recorded already about it. So I'm just going to feel into it because everybody who signs up for either the showtime or the experiment, I'm going to have like a voice memo conversation with before we start anyway. So I'm, I'm just going to feel into that. But anyways, Understanding your profile is very beneficial because it helps you accept who you are and not only accept, but embrace who you are. And once we are embrace, what is that? Once we embrace ourselves, we are at that high frequency, right? And if you're thinking about the quantum field and if you're thinking about manifesting, once we are in that high frequency and those are like like the high like the the love and the the uh, like the the joy and the authenticity and the fun those are the energy frequencies that we manifest from right the trouble is that a lot of the times we are getting triggered in those lower vibrations so i want to go a little bit more in depth to uh, in that today but i want to also watch the time because you're in my program that's what we we're pretending so i have to cap it at 25 minutes okay anyway she's saying so now i'm overthinking like crazy so in the next 30 days i would love 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 to have clarity on how i want to serve where my next evolution of my business is at um, 30 days to get out of my thoughts and reconnect with my spirit and soul again. So I feel lit up by life and excited for my next project so I can quit my current soul sucking job, please. There's one current random job that I saw that I want to apply for and get that is a tangible thing for the 30 days. I don't have the degree on paper they are after, but I should. But I sure as hell have the life experience and basically made for this job. It's just convincing them to interview me. Uh, clarity on my purpose and getting my spark back. That's basically my goal for the next 30 days. So I would love for you guys all to read to write down your 30 day goal, right? So if you're in Trello and you want to do the behind the scenes with me, go to Trello and share it with me. Otherwise, just do it privately. But having clarity on your goal for the next 30 days is fun. And I will tell you why. Because a goal will actually trigger all the stored limited emotions in your body. And you have to imagine it sort of like popcorn, right? So, um, once we don't have any goals or situations that trigger us, like everything's just at the surface. But when we set a goal, actually all the limiting beliefs get activated. And that's a good thing. So one of the things I teach you in my programs is to be very comfortable with the uncomfortable. We are actually programmed in a way that we are supposed to suppress our emotions. We are programmed in a way that they that we, we are made believe that it's all about like feeling good, feeling high, feeling happy, and that emotions like self-doubt, um, unease, all of those things that those are negative emotions. They're not. They're just different frequencies. And once you get to the point that you actually love those lower emotions as well, and when you start to understand, hey, this is just like old emotions, old conditioning that's coming up for the sake of coming up and it's just moving through my body. <laughs> hey baby, it's just moving through my body. And with the moving through my body, it is actually, what did I tell you, Poppy? <laughs> with the moving through my body, it is actually, um, it's actually being let, like we're, I'm actually letting go. That is like so transformative. So one of the first thing we're basically going to do is help you become aware of like, what are all the emotions I'm suppressing? And believe me, you are suppressing your emotions big time. Okay. You might think you're not, but you are because we don't want to feel uncomfortable because we have been taught that feeling uncomfortable is not a good thing. But I actually welcome feeling uncomfortable. I actually welcome feeling overwhelmed because it gives me an opportunity. It provides me an opportunity to move through it and to discover that like, I'm stronger than my body. I'm stronger than my mind. And that is like, I think the biggest takeaway that I'm getting out of the experiment and doing this work with my clients and myself, I'm doing the work as well, of course, myself. If I look at last year, my biggest takeaway is that I now literally believe that I can do anything I desire and that I can actually, that I'm stronger than anything that makes my mind believe. 
And don't get me wrong, I still have situations that I doubt myself a lot. I still have situations that give me huge anxiety. I'm still all the time in those situations, but I am no longer afraid of it anymore. And I remember a couple of years ago, I recorded a meditation and I said like, there is like this monster and if you just keep thinking there is a monster and you like you have like maybe the blanket over the monster like with a with a ghost like you have the blanket and you think oh my god it's a ghost it's a ghost like my daughter watches these coco melon videos and there are those ghosts and then they shine the light on it and then it's like oh it's not a ghost it's just like a a a a, a toy right so if we keep convincing ourselves like oh my god there's a ghost and that is like a fearful thing and i have to walk away from it you make the ghost it makes it seem real and the worst thing is you actually start adjusting your life your 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 the things that you're doing based on those emotions so it's not about not feeling the emotions anymore it's about not letting yourself be influenced in your behavior by the emotions right so sure you can feel anxiety sure you can feel self-doubt but does it prevent you from showing up in your business and this is one of the biggest things i started changing this year that i just decided you know what i don't care how uncomfortable i feel i don't care all the limited emotions i can feel it and still show up i can feel it and still show up and basically that's why i'm so passionate about this program as well also about showtime because once we start reconditioning ourselves once we sort of like start understanding how this whole quantum physics game works and once we understand how to not identify with those emotions you can see that you can continue to move in your business even though you are fearful even though you are scared even though you are insecure and that is for me one of the biggest gifts i can give my clients that they know they can do whatever it is they want whenever they do whenever they want it and that they are stronger than those their fears i don't know if you have seen the recent movie with will smith i don't know what it's called but it's about this beautiful man who was uh, enslaved and who is actually uh, escaping um, his slavery and he's making his way back to his, his his family if you watch that movie you understand what i'm talking about like there is nothing that can stop him and he is he keeps telling that himself as well i'm like stronger than my fears i'm stronger than my fears god is my savior god is my savior and he is so focused on what he desires and he he is so willing to feel his fear but not identify with it and that makes him at the end return to his family right so you have to understand that the emotions that we feel and all the limiting beliefs that we feel they are stored in our body and i'm not going to go in depth in that today because this is something i'm doing in the in the i want to do like more in depth in the program because i can give it more body but just envision like all those limited emotions stored in the lower part of your body and you're basically like santa claus you have this very big belly belly you're just like you have obesity you are obese with like limited emotions and we have to get you on a diet we have to get those limited emotions out of your body so that you become slim again and once you're slim again you basically become a magnet to miracles to anything you desire because of the um the overweight your magnet is not working properly that's how you have to envision it so uh, my job as your coach is to get your magnet to work again and like i said it's like super simple just tune into my energy 25 minutes a day okay so i have to get you slim again you have to understand that all those limited emotions are stored in your body and you have to understand that this is just not something that i'm making up right there are a lot of scientific results and studies done to this I told you in the outro yesterday that there are hospitals that are unwilling to it's not working baby uh, that are unwilling to do certain types of surgery because they know if the people are not in the right brainwave if they are not in the right frequency their body won't heal i truly believe that infertility infertility a lot of the times has to do with this once we want to become pregnant and i have been there i went into this psycho mode of like i want to become pregnant today um 
we get into this cycle and we become so unattractive in our energy like literally like we shut down like the 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 like the frequency to manifest we get super like you have to imagine a rock we get like or an ice cube we become super hard in our energy and it's impossible for energy to penetrate through a rock so in order to manifest new things we have to become water and mist so when i started to get pregnant and like first of all it took like my husband and i are together 22 years it took him 19 years to get to the point that he was like okay i'm ready so once he said he was ready i was like okay i want it today (laughs) at the end it took a year before we got on the same page on like really getting pregnant because i got into that like crazy mode that i've started to do ovulation tests and it like had to be done at a certain moment and my husband was like well this ain't working for me baby (laughs) not at all and the more you obsess about it like the less the less it comes into your reality, right? So I literally had to work myself through all of these emotions and turn myself from that rock into water, into mist before we were actually able to receive my child. And it was like super difficult because I was already receiving her on a spiritual level. I had already, like, I I already knew she was going to be a girl. She presented herself to me. So I was like, oh my God, I want her now. I don't want to wait, right? But I had like, it was like one of my biggest lessons. Sophie, you cannot manifest from an ice cube. You have to become, you have to become water and mist. And it was a very difficult journey for me because I wanted her so bad. And if you want something extremely bad, it is extremely hard to let go and to surrender. And this is something I actually talk about in a bonus episode that I recorded for you guys today. If you haven't listened to it, I recorded it and published it this afternoon. It's like a bonus episode on how how you can let go more and how you can surrender and let things come into your experience. But that is like like that is the number one secret of manifesting and it's one of the hardest things to do especially when you feel a type of urgency so this can be around pregnancy but also when you have money issues you can get so tight in your body that you're like literally believing this is the end of the world right and you have to do it now but from that frequency it is impossible and i get like challenged in this every time again and remember like sophie this is not working you're an ice cube again turn yourself into water turn yourself into mist so i wanted to share this today with you guys to help you understand because awareness is the first part of us working together that you are like there are like things you're doing in your energy field that is preventing you from manifesting there is nothing wrong with you it is not that the law of attraction is not working for you it's not that the quantum physics doesn't the quantum field doesn't exist or that there is some sort of secret that you are not cap- like equipped for none of that it's just like the first part is becoming aware so become aware of the fact that you are still holding those lower frequencies in your body and it's actually not that complicated to get out of your body to get that like i have this one exercise um uh, um, uh, that's actually thought by um, Joe Dispenza as well. It's an amazing exercise to get you out of your body. And I explain all of that more in depth into in the in both of my programs. And the beauty is once you understand how it works, once you understand like on a like a like an 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 an. Um, and um, once you understand the the science behind the exercises, like meditation is one thing, but if you understand why it works, if you understand the scientific results, if you see the results, if you see the evidence, all of the sudden it's, it comes in on a deeper level. And this is what I do in the in-depth quantum physics um, uh, sessions that we have in the program. So. If you sign up for a showtime or the experiment, you get four in-depth quantum physics sessions where we're really going to go deeper into the quantum physics. And I'll show you the the evidence and I show you the pictures and I show you like I have all these techniques to really make it resonate with you on a way deeper level. So basically your assignment for today is just to like let it sink in and become aware of like, okay, like where am I still holding on to it? Um, emotions and where am I still suppressing emotions because believe me you are 100% suppressing emotions that you don't want to feel and once you become more comfortable we get a little beep on that what are you doing 
<laughs> where you get more comfortable or comfortable so chan with those emotions then like then there like a whole world of possibility opens up okay so this was day two again if you want to work more in depth with me go to the trello because i have a surprise going on there behind the scenes uh, during these uh, three days and then of course if you are like completely inspired and you're like oh my god this would be so amazing to just make this my number one priority for the upcoming months um for two months and i know i'm triggering you i'm challenging you guys to do it two months i know if i would have sold one month it would have been easier because one month seems easier than two months but believe me like if i would sell it for one month i would sell it for the same price so i was just like you know what maybe i should have sold it for one month and just be like after one month hey surprise guys you get another month bonus but believe me, after a month, you want to continue this work. So um, the women who are currently in my experiment, who are in the 30-day experiment, who they pay 2500 as well, right? So and they didn't have the event. You guys are getting two months plus the event. So it is absolutely, yeah, chocolate. It's absolutely an amazing opportunity to turn your life around, to really watch what happens when you make this your number one priority. And once you, once you like understand that the sky is the freaking limit the sky is the freaking limit and the only thing you need to do is reorganize your energy and like by tuning in every single day with me it just like it gives you that 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 safe space right because in those transformations we can sometimes feel so lost and we just need some sort of like anchor point right and i'm your anchor point during that transformation that's basically what it is so for any more information about that you can go to sophiedipmar.com slash it's showtime or slash experiment and um yeah i'm just like really excited to take this next level with you okay guys love you and we'll talk tomorrow